So as you can see right now, everything still works fine. This should be part 18. Now we have the list of items displayed here on the page and we also have our home page displayed. Now the two of them are disconnected. What we want to do now is to create a structure for this page so that the sidebar, the header and the footer, uh, if you scroll down, you'll see the footer as well. We want this component, the header, the sidebar and the footer to be used by all the components of this application. So if we create any new component, you already have the sidebar, the header and the footer. That's exactly what we are going to be doing now. And you need to pay attention because this is how it works. Now, if you look at the uh, components we created, you see that we have the app components, which actually contains everything. So if I go to the app component now, so if I go to the app component, which is this one, it contains the router outline, so it doesn't contain everything. But what contains everything is actually the home component. So if I go to the home component, you see the home component, everything is loaded onto the home component. Now we want this uh, sidebar, the header and the footer to be actually in the app component. The reason is because all the components of your application inherit from the app component. So I'm going to move all these things away onto the app component. So I'm going to move all these things away to the app component. I'm going to cut it to the app from the home component to the app component right here. Now, if you look at the app component, you see that there is router outlet. Router outlet simply means when there is a routed component, that component is going to be loaded onto that place. So it means that every other component we are going to be creating should be in the router outlet point. So what it means is the footer and the control sidebar should be under while the header and the main sidebar should be above. The app content wrapper, which is this one, I'm copying, I'm cutting it away, should now be the content of the home component. So I'm going to take it to the home component and this is where it should be. So if I save everything now, everything in the app component now will be available to other components because routed components now like the uh, countries of home will be loaded onto this place. So if I go to my country a component, this country component will be loaded onto that place we have the router. So it's going to inherit the sidebar, the header, the footer, the control sidebar. It's going to inherit all of them. So that's what I just did now. And I'm going to check uh, to see if it actually works. So if I go to uh, refresh the page, if I go to refresh the page here, refresh, this is the home. Home works perfectly well. Now, if I go back to the country and refresh, you see country now inherits everything, but you see the footer is not really in the right position. You can see it's hanging here. The reason is because there is something called content wrapper. So I'm going to take that content wrapper and move it away from the home and put it onto the app component so the other component can actually also use the content wrapper. So I'm going to go to the home, uh, not not uh, this is not this one but i'm going to go to the actual um uh, the actual uh, content trapper this one so here i'm going to move this content trapper from here and i'm going to actually move it into the app component so if i go to the app component here i can actually put this content trapper here i think it should be here and i'm going to close the div tag as well i'm going to now come here and remove this last div tag so if i save everything now hopefully it should be fine so let's go check so you see that it works now the footer now is in the right position so we've done everything related with the structure of the application i hope you understand it now and the nice part now, we are going to be talking about, that should be part 19, we are going to be now talking about doing a modal pop-up form. We are going to be working on this page to add a button that says add new, and then we are going to talk about uh, inserting new items into our database. 
I would like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment if you have any challenges following my class. And also like this video, like this video and share it around. Connect with me on my social network profile. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.